Welcome, I'm Bill Brewster, and this is Drywall Techniques. This segment is Series 3, Texturing. So let's get familiar with the equipment we'll be using today. For texturing today, we'll be using a wallboard hopper. It's uh, an older style. They've been around a long time. You can pick them up from garage sales for about 25 bucks. Uh, it's better than spending 100 or $200 for the uh, more upper end style hoppers that basically do the same thing. It has a, uh, a dial in the front to change the orifice that we want to use for material from medium to light to heavy textures. And then it has the, the hose bib on the end. The material goes in the top, really basic and simple. All you're lacking is a hose and a compressor. So at this point, we're going to be spraying some acoustic. At this point, we have our hopper mix acoustic mixed up in our bucket. It's pretty thin as you can see. If you don't want anything too terribly thick, you can clot up the hopper. Spraying acoustic on ceilings is relatively simple. You start off in the corners and then you work your way out. The uh, finish coat for acoustic is basically one fill coat over the tape and you spot the screws or nails once and then you're ready to go. Acoustic ceilings can definitely cover up a variety of sins. At this point, we'll scrape the wall up to the ceiling line and allow the ceiling to dry. When your acoustic texture dries, you can use a Phillips screwdriver, run along this corner. That way it'll allow you to have room to be able to cut in your paint for your wall. And now we're ready to spray a fine to a medium orange peel. All the texture we're shooting, we're spraying at around 40 to 60 pounds per square inch on our compressor. At this point, we have our texture mud mixed. As you can see, it's pretty thin. At this point, we're going to be spraying our fine to medium orange peel. What we'll be doing is we'll be spraying from the corners, then into the field. That way, it's nice, even coverage. You can mask off the acoustic ceiling if you desire. But most cases when you spray your orange peel, you can spray right up into the ankle and even spray a little onto the popcorn itself or, or acoustic. And once it dries, you don't even see it. So it's up to you uh, which route you would rather go.
At this point we finished spraying our fine to medium orange peel. Let it dry thoroughly before priming. The next texture we're going to be spraying is a medium to heavy knockdown. With spraying a medium to a heavy knockdown, you need to allow this to set up a little bit. And then you use a broad knife and then you knock it down. Our knockdown texture. We'll be using a 24 inch offset knife. As we knock down our texture, be very careful for any hard particles in the drywall mud because if the blade catches it, it could scratch your entire texture. So start off at the top, lay your blade nice and flat. Not a lot of pressure. Nice, long, even strokes. Now at this point, at this point you need to allow your texture to dry thoroughly before you prime it. When doing your skip trial texture, it's best to use an offset knife. That way you can lay this as flat as possible without getting your fingers into the texture. Dip your knife into the texture along this area right here. It doesn't have to be very heavy. And then wipe on. Just like that. Or if you're coming down,
we're keeping our mud at the same consistency as what we sprayed earlier. And you can make this as heavy as you wish, depending on how many coats and how many different directions you want to go with it. This is definitely some southwest flare right here. At this point, allow your texture to dry thoroughly before you PVA prime. Well, we're at the end of our project. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on Drywall Techniques.